Hello YouTube, B3 here, back with another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Nadi Shiko. Which is, you know, I'm not the best at pronouncing Japanese, and I've seen the movie she's in twice, so I should probably have it down, but, you know, I'm too busy paying attention to how perfect she is, and... <laughs> not really. Oh, man. It takes me a while to learn Japanese names of characters, and she was only in one movie, uh, a Common Rider Foreign's Common Rider Owns movie. It was um, what was it? Movie Mega Max. Common, yeah, Common Rider Foreign's Common Rider Owns movie Mega Max, and uh, it was kind of like the end of the Common Rider Owns show, but sort of like the middle of the beginning of the Common Rider Foreign's show, because in uh, in Common Rider Foreign's. There was this form called Rocket States that showed up, and I thought it was just some stupid random thing that showed up out of nowhere. But I always watch the movies after I finish the series. So I didn't understand that he'd gotten that form from her. She gave it to him. So I was like, oh, okay. So then I was like, well, if I get her, then I have to get Rocket States forms because I totally ship them, you know, as a couple. So... You know, I'll let you watch Common Rider Forns in that movie and stuff so you can see what happened with them and how their lives turned out. But, uh, yeah, Common Rider Nadi Shiko. Really, really cool. She was a, uh, a web exclusive, I believe. You know, just female Common Rider. So my first female Common Rider, probably. Uh, well, I might get, uh, another one. I might get the one from Ryuki. But she's just, just really cute. Oh. She's so cute. I love her fighting style. It's it's so precious. And uh, she snapped the dude's neck. That was pretty cool. But here's her box. I've been messing with her non-stop for the past few weeks I've had her. And there she is right there. Oh, hands clasp. Hee-hee. <laughs> and stuff on the side. Here's a bunch of stuff on the back. You know, she's got her special hand parts. And there she is posed right there. She's got a rocket. And, you know... Bass guitar! Freaking love this figure. <laughs> I was gonna put her in a display, but, um. To be, to <laughs> to be totally honest, I love this figure so much that she's just gonna be part of my review table. This is the table right here is my review table. And. As of now, I have four figures on it that aren't going into the display because I mess around with them so much. And it's her. S.H. Monster Arts Gamera, her derp, 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 derp. Rocket States Forns, that goes with her, and also her best space gal pal, Captain Marvel. So these are my current review table figures that just, you know, sit around that I take lots of pictures of and pretty much just obsess over. But yes, I, I love this figure. Uh, First up, we're going to talk accessories. First up, we got this clasp hand, which is really a really unique interchangeable hand piece. Not a lot of figures come with hands that are attached and stuff. I know if you get like the Captain Marvelous Gokai Red, I think he has like arms that are crossed that you can put on, which is <laughs> close one, which are really cool. But she's just, oh, she's a perfect little figure. But yeah, she's got those cool hands right there. Here she is with her fist hands. These are the kind of default hands she comes with. And her little dancing pose, I got her in here. Uh, just just neat little, you know, just the regular hands that everybody gets, pretty much. But, you know, special little female ones for her. Here she is being all cute with just kind of her open hands. You know, just a little pose there. I had to use this stand to hold her up. But... Yeah, you know, just open hands, one for each hand, you know, left and right, obviously. They're just really nice, relaxed hands. And last but not least, we have kind of a single high-five hand, only on the left hand. But, you know, it's enough. I'm glad they gave her all these hands, because, you know, you can't get any expression out of a Kamen Rider's face, obviously. So you have to get it all through the body, and, you know, figure arts are really just the best figures for Kamen Rider, because you can get all that expression out of them and it's really uh it's really great that you can she just looks so good <laughs> she 
He's such a great figure. And I'm very glad for all that. But now, we just have one last thing to show off. It's her rocket, of course. Yeah, so, um, this rocket, pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. I mean, I've put the rocket on my rocket forms. He has two rockets. And I've put one, the one on this arm, and it wasn't really bad. It was no big deal. Uh, but with her, her rocket piece is, for the most part, the same as the one from my rocket forms. And I'm assuming it's really exactly the same as the one from the regular figure arts forms, which I'll own one day. It's just a little lighter shade than this one. And the bottom, you can't remove these. On this one, these are removable, and then you can have a rocket uh, blast effect that you can put in there. So I guess if you wanted, you could have her have this one on her arm, if you have Rocket States Forns, and then she could use this effect, which is really cool. And I actually haven't tried that effect out yet, I really should. But um, this is her specific rocket, so it's lighter colors than the other one. But, um... As I was saying, it was made for Forns' arm, and he has this big old arm right here, and this big arm parts right there and stuff, and hers are much slimmer, as you can see. So what you have to do is detach her arm, just like you would Forns, but you have to take the plastic joint cover off, and then slip on an alternate plastic joint cover, which is right under there, and then you have to put this on over it. So when I want to change back to her arm, it's going to be a huge pain in the ass, because taking this off was just insane. And I kind of almost bent it out of shape a little. And it's just really, really rough. I wish they kind of would have just made her her own rocket, but it works, because it looks exactly like Forn's, and hers was exactly like his, like, every in every way. I don't want to spoil anything about the movie, but... Yeah, every way... Really, really cool. But, um... I just, eh. That's... That's no good. And now I'm going to show you articulation and stuff, but I'm going to leave the rocket on, because I want to take a few pictures of that before I have to deal with all that BS of taking it off and stuff. Now, she actually has really fantastic articulation. Head looks up crazy far, so you can have her in some great flying poses if you wanted, you know. Space guitar! There you go. Some, just some great flying poses down, you know, it can look all over the place, really. Just whatever you want to do with the head, you can do with the head. I'm going to show you articulation on this arm. You obviously lose it from, you know, the hinge down when you put the, the rocket on, of course. But, uh, you got these hinged shoulders, and they also kind of move forward and back a little, so you can still pose her arm pretty much any way you want without hindrance. I have a question, you know, etc. With just lots of, you know, just all kinds of crazy movement. She has... Really good movement. You know, they get the double bend here. And you got swivel there, even. Which is really nice. And you've got, you know, the up and down, you know, swivel on the little hand there. Not a bad ab joint. Good waist joint. Uh, I don't like her, her belt. Because <sighs> it just sits on there. See that? Not a big fan of that. Like, that really bothered me when I first got this figure. And there's like a little notch here, and then there's a little notch in the belt too. So then you're supposed to be able to hook it on, but her hips are so wide that once you hook it down, it just it kind of sits sideways like that. And that's I I just I like it like this. I like it like this. But I've gotten used to it. You know, I've figured out that when I'm posing her and stuff, you know, it's no big deal because all I have to do is. Just after I pose her, if it's up here, I just gotta whoop, and then it's fine. You know, it's fine. You can always just move it around. So it's not as big of a deal as I thought it was originally. And then you have that great figure arts leg articulation. Whew! It's a noisy joint. What up with that? Anyways, yeah, you can just whew, move it all around. The other one's a lot smoother. <laughs> that was weird. Still squeaky, though. And you got that nice thigh articulation. Double knee bend. Uh... I believe these come off. I'm not going to try because I don't want to make them any looser. But the ones on my Elect States Common Rider forms are like really loose. And my Elect States Common Rider forms also has really loose um, 
switches, but her switches are all molded in place. They don't come out because she only has one thing she really uses. So, yeah, she doesn't have a lot of switches because Forns has like upwards of 40, I think. But she doesn't. So she's got that double pin there. And, you know, nice up and down on the feet and stuff. And there's actually a little articulation on this cuff, this blue cuff. See that? Yeah, that's so her foot can go up. Aha! Uh -huh. Really cool. And, you know, toe articulation. And I just kind of showed your foot articulation. You got a pivot in there. Really nice. And I, I just want to, while we're on the whole feet thing, you know. Um, normally, I don't like my female figures to have high heels. Because on my Captain Marvel that I showed you earlier, she's flat-footed. And I love that. It's one of my favorite things about the figure. Because she'll stand up and she won't fall over all the time. But... The way she is with her articulation and her really wide heels, she stands up perfectly fine. She doesn't fall over all the time like my black cat figure and, you know, stuff like that. I have, a, you know, just a few female figures with, with heels and she's really the only one with heels that really uh, stands while you're messing around with her. Because, like, I have a Wonder Woman on display with heels, and she's fine, but I have another Wonder Woman, my Star Sapphire Wonder Woman has heels and doesn't want to stand at all. But, you know, my New 52 Wonder Woman's heels aren't that high. But her heels are, they're kind of high-ish, but at the same time they're not, you know, too high. So that's really nice. But you know, as of detail and paint, also really perfect. I love how Figure Arts does the Kamen Rider's eyes, how they kind of have the detail in the back. And her, like, little crests on her head look really great, because she's got the bug antenna, and then they just become crests. Which is really cool. Maybe they're, like, solar panels looking-ish. She's really nice. She's supposed to be the female version of Forns, obviously, if you haven't figured that out yet. She's got a little jetpack thingy there. And she's got some pink on her, some nice pink. I love that, like, silver, pink, and blue. It looks really good. Like, it, it looks really, really good. And then her, her belt there, which isn't much different than... Horn's belt, if you want a comparison. There you go. Really nice. She's just got nice, nice legs in more ways than one. Just a really, really nice sculpt. Really great figure. All right, so size comparison time, you know. Uh, here we have her compared to some other SH Figure Arts figures. Here on the, uh, the left, we have the blue Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Yeah, eyes are up here, buddy. And here on the right, we have, as you've already seen, Kamen Rider Forn's Rocket States, who's really going to be about the same size as your other Forn's figures from Figure Arts. So that's really good. You know, got him all Forn'sy, so you can just... Whatever Figure Arts Forn's you have, just pretend it's this one. Except maybe Magnet States. I don't know how Magnet States might scale with her. But this Forn's... Scales with her really well. And, you know, I guess Blue Ranger does too. Now here she is with some more of her space friends. Here on the left we have the Forns Module Change Series Kamen Rider Meteor. And here on the right we have the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Captain Marvel. Yeah, you know, people always ask if stuff's in scale with Marvel Legends, especially on the IWO Facebook group. Which is just an import figure Facebook group, you know. You like Kamen Rider and stuff, check it out. Godzilla 2. And, uh, you know, so, Marvel Legend, here it is, and, you know, space-related, plus, you know, I pose them together all the time. So there you go. You know. But honestly, I think she scales just fine with Meteor, and he's around the same scale as her, even though he's from a cheaper series, like a cheaper toy line, you know. That's more for, like, kids to play with. And, um, you know, Captain Marvel, I, that could be a fine scaling, because, you know, now she goes like a schoolgirl. And, you know, Carol Danvers is a grown woman. So, you know, you can work it. I mean, maybe there wouldn't be that much of a size difference. Because, you know, our writer lady here would be in high school. So, you know, it's whatever. But I'm still going to pose them together all the same. Boyfriend Kata! What? She also comes with a really awesome stand... Uh, it's just like your other figure art stands, you know, pretty standard. It comes with a little uh, articulated clip section. You know, here she is, just a little rocket pose, no big deal. But uh, if you unclip her, bloop, 
And it's really tight because I just put it together. My other ones are looser. My like I got I have a stand pack. It's just a pack of stands. But not only is it you know a good articulatable strong stand, it's also customized. Check it out. It's got a little name on there, and it's got her. And it's got little hearts and stars, and it's pink, and it's perfect. I don't know why I'm so excited about such a feminine figure. I guess it's because, you know, it's awesome. It's a really awesome figure. It's just a really cool stand. It's just really cool all around, and everything about her is just wonderful. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Narishiko figure from Bandai and Tamashi Nations? Honestly, this is my favorite figure. Uh, I don't want to say it's the best figure in my collection because, you know, I feel like favorite figure and stuff is all relative and, you know, personal taste and etc. But I really love this figure. Uh, I can't imagine this figure not being in my collection now that I have it. I have several SH Figure Arts Common Riders, but this is my favorite one. Uh, she makes me want to get more female Common Rider figs. I need that female rider from Ryuki, and I feel like I need the, the Kivala from Decade as well. Those are the female riders I'm most familiar with. So, I really just, I need to grab some riders. Some more riders. I have some female rangers. Like, I have the MMPR Yellow Ranger and the MMPR Pink Ranger. But they're kind of just posed up in the displays. I don't mess with them much. But this gal right here, whew, she is beautiful. I just love her so much. So... Obviously, she gets 5 out of 5 stars, you know. Uh, I did complain about that piece on the arm, but I guess that's just maybe kind of how it has to be, you know. Uh, it's a butt, and I guess it was easier than making a whole new rocket, and they gave her plenty of hands and stuff. And then there's her belt, which kind of flops around, but once she's still, you know, it looks fine. I wouldn't be able to do this pose unless I was able to move it up her waist some, so, you know, I guess that actually can be a benefit sometimes. See, I got her pose right here on this table. Um, and she looks great. She just looks great. She's a great figure. I'm so happy she's in my collection. I don't think I'd trade her for any other figure. I really don't. I don't even think I'd trade her for a Monster Arts Biolante. And that's like my Holy Grail figure right now. That's like the figure I want more than any other figure. And I'd, I would not trade her for it. Even though I can get another one of her for, you know, way less than Biolante. Uh, just like in a scenario where I wouldn't be able to get another Kamen Rider Narishiko, I would not trade her for SH Monster Arts by Alante. And I wouldn't trade this one specifically. I'd probably just buy another Narishiko and then trade that one because this one's almost sentimental to me at this point. I just love it so much. And I take pictures of her with all my new figures and everything. and <sighs> Just perfect. Everything's just perfect. So that's it, you guys. Thank you all so much. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, follow you back on Twitter. There are more Kamen Rider reviews, plenty of Power Ranger reviews, uh, Godzilla, Gamera, Ultraman. There's any of the Japanese stuff you can really imagine. Um, I mean, there's just so many different things that we review here. Marvel and DC as well. So if you like any of that stuff, be sure to subscribe. Uh, and then we have a Godzilla Ultraman and Kaiju parody show on this channel called G&G, &G, also known as Godzilla and Gigan. And then it has two spin-offs on our B3 Productions channel, Ultra Kaiju Brothers and Ask G&G, &G, so be sure to check those out. Gaming videos on Super Friends benefits and horror drama suspense stuff on The Slender Happening. So there's a lot of great stuff to check out in the links in the description below. Uh, I have been working on videos for every channel, even though two of them haven't had videos in a while. Uh, the Gaming Channel and The Slender Channel. But they are getting... More videos soon. I have been making them, so check it out. All my channels, uploads, great. I try to upload at least one video to one channel every single day. But yeah, see you guys. Thank you all so much. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below, and I'll see you all later.